Raw and SmackDown happen. Basically, we had the Jinder Mahal Seth match, which we talked a little bit about before. We had the Miz and R Truth. They took on Priest and Balor. Pretty good match. We had Gargano and Champa take on McDonough and Mysterio. Um, and DIY's really falling off. Like, no one really gives a shit, I don't think. Uh, Gunther's return to Raw, and Cody kicks off Raw. He blows the roof off the bitch. McIntyre comes out. They square off. He he might be the next big heel for Cody to face. Nakamura's still calling out Cody, so I don't know. A lot going on there in the main event picture, but Cody um, might win this Royal Rumble back-to-back years. I think that's kind of what they're building up to, which makes me think he will just win the title off Roman, but if he doesn't, he doesn't. You know, at the Elimination Chamber, The Rock and Roman are not at all scheduled to be there they're not expecting them to be there and they're not um advertised to be there or anything the chamber sells itself and i've talked about this before man so endeavor and the ufc they have their they've started an initiative to put ufc performance centers all over the world right they've put it in motion and um the key to that is going to all these markets first right like you got to go there do a show and like we talked about with Wembley and All In, you go to the UK, or uh, pardon me, you go to this uh, in Perth, and you put an Elimination Chamber match there, and Punk's there with Cody and Drew. That's a good enough, bro, 45 to 60,000 people are going to turn up for that, and it's going to be crazy. And then next time they go there, it'll be this big, they'll do a big title match or something. But they're they, what they're doing is opening the doors to eventually put performance centers all over the world. I truly believe that. That's Endeavor's plan with the UFC, and they're doing that with performance institutes, and then they'll get Apexes there, then they'll do contender series is there. So WWE, man, NXT Japan, NXT Australia, NXT UK again, NXT, may, maybe not even that, maybe just performance centers in all those places. And, and if they do do NXT Japan and all that shit, I hope they just keep it off TV. Just keep it off TV, man. And then just have like the main NXT be the cream of the crop and then to slowly introduce them and then get them to the main roster, right? Just keep it off. Don't even show us what's going on, you know? Raw, 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 raw. So <clears throat> we talked about the match. You know, we had Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell. They took on Chelsea Green and Piper Niven, got a win. I really don't care about them. Um, What are they called? The Way? Someone, I saw a nickname for it. Uh, fuck. There was like a different, like a, a f- she way or like the female version of the way is like Candice LeRae and Indy. Who cares? Whatever. Uh, Gunther sets up a match between Ludwig Kaiser and Xavier Woods, which was phenomenal. And Kaiser just beat Woods. He just like DQ'd himself or it was a DQ, but he just, I don't know. Kaiser was showing another vicious side of himself. Uh, we had Akira Tozawa versus, versus Ivar. Tozawa looked great. He um he won over Ivar. It was a whatever match, but the finish was really good. Rhea Ripley comes out, cut a promo. It wasn't her best promo ever, but then Becky comes out, and she's just money on the mic, elevates it. We're going to get Becky and Rhea. Becky might win the Rumble, challenge Rhea. Um, a lot of people are like Jade Cargill and shit, but that might be too much, you know, too quickly. They could have Jade come out and just, like, throw out more women ever than any other woman in history which I think is Rhea, you know, and then build it. That's a build up there that could come back down the line. And then Jade could have a good showing, but whatever. And then, yeah, we had Priest and Balor versus, and our truths doing this whole, like he's in the judgment day thing. It's fucking funny, man. It's goofy as shit, but it's funny, but it's, it's weird. Like they're creating this almost like another Sami Zayn type dynamic where he's arguing about, you know, JD's like, oh, like you're not in the judgment day. And <laughs> Truth's like, you're not in the judgment day. And it's, I don't know. It's just, it's pretty funny. Um, and then we had Tegan Knox and Natalia take on Baszler and Starks. Trash, man. Like, Knox and Natalia aren't a team. I don't, and then Stark and Baszler are just like, I don't know. Why is that a team, too? Like, that's crazy to me, too. I just, I don't know. As long as Chance and Carter have those tag belts, I'm fucking happy. And then they just had them do a match on SmackDown, which we'll talk about against uh, Isla Dawn and Alba Fire. And it's like, no, build those witch girls up and then have them like those two teams should be like your two top women's tag tag teams. You know, like I don't want to see them losing to each other right now. So see, guys, I'm being critical of WWE. Holy shit. 
I'm not sitting here slobbering. It's not, I'm going, holy shit, this, they need to work on some shit. So the main event, Rollins legit hurt his knee. MCL tears his M- a- MCL tears his meniscus could be out could not be back before mania actually he's going to address what his future on raw tonight um at the time of recording this so whatever we'll figure all that out um I don't know will there be a cash in I could see priest just cashing and grabbing the belt um I could see I could see him vacating the belt and then just making the elimination chamber match for the world heavyweight title and then punk wins it and then and then rollins returns at wrestlemania and has to face not only the man he hates but this man has his world title and then rollins can come back and go guess what punk i'm the real world's champion boom that's my mark fantasy book and that's that's the real shit right there that would be a great story but either way something good will come of this and i'm so sorry rollins had to get hurt but you know what i feel like people were coming to a point with rollins i know i am where it's like if jinder had to beat him i wouldn't have been mad if shinsuke had to beat seth i wouldn't have been mad like if if gunther just decided fuck it i'm gonna go after rollins and beat him i wouldn't be mad like rollins had his run with this belt it's been going the same length as Rhea. like Rhea's having the same run hey Rhea don't need to have this run or, or I mean, simultaneously, like Rhea's having this up till WrestleMania run. Now, I don't want Rollins to be hurt by any means, but this is a great that we got. If we're going to be optimistic here, Rollins getting hurt isn't good. I, I, I'm so it kills me because I truly do. A lot of people say Rollins ass. I love Rollins. He took time to win me over too. I wasn't fucking with him, but it was really his angle with Sting in WWE that got him over with me. But um, anyways him losing the belt this way if he has to vacate it this is the best way to like keep him strong he never really lost the belt but he has to give up the belt and the fans and he'll just be more over when he comes back because we'll be like yes because there's the old saying like you can't we can't miss you if you don't go away so this was almost like the ideal thing to happen even though seth is fucking hurt nobody probably has that take but your boy Phil Marks, but this was this is a win win. This is a win here for when he comes back, it's only gonna be bigger and better. And just imagine this angle. Rollins comes back and goes, Punk, I'm the real world's champion. You never beat me for that belt. Woo hoo hoo at Mania. And Punk wins the chamber for the belt. Oh. Or you pull a Tony Khan, you do a tournament where the finals take place at Mania. But that's a long stretch we're talking, but make it matter. Make it count. But anyways, this match with Jinder Mahal, so it was it was an okay match. It was actually like a pretty good fucking match. And Indu Sheer came out, which kind of muddied it up. But it was very much like, and they had me at one point, um, you know, uh, Jinder hit him with the gut buster, which used to be his old finish, false finish, hits him with the Coloss. And then Rollins' foot touches the rope, or, or it was a rope or a kick out. I can't. I think it was a rope break. But either way, man, they had me a couple times. But then, yeah, Rollins ends up getting the win. Good shit, pal. Good shit, pal. Yeah. But Jinder, um, I don't know, man. Good for him. This match wasn't like blow you away, but it was pretty fucking good. But I think the reason it wasn't blow you away is because Rollins tore his shit apart in the, some point in the middle of that fucking match. He fucking blew his MCL, tore his meniscus. So he's not 100% through that whole match. Otherwise, I think it would have banged a little bit more. But um, either way, it was like actually still a solid match. So I definitely want to applaud both men. Um, but if it's me again, where whatever's going on with the World Heavyweight title, get Mahal in that mix again. Like, oh, well, since Seth isn't here, I should be the rightful champion or something. Get him in another match because there's still something there. And with those Indu Sheer guys, it'll only rub off on them and and help everyone out involved. So um, I want to move along here. So I want to kind of compare the main events, right? Because Dynamite booked the Samoa Joe match and the hook match that was their big world title match and uh i want to talk about it but i just want to wrap up smackdown so nxt was whatever it was good lola vice shined it was a good little show what we have here though 
on SmackDown is, you know, we had Logan Paul. He's feuding with Kevin Owens. You know, it's a good piece of business. You got the LWO versus the Legato World Order. Good business there. You got Pete Dunn is back. Pete Dunn is back. They got rid of the Butch name. And uh, Tyler Bate, he's teaming with him. And that's great. Pete Dunn's back. Awesome. The Bruiserweight, that whole um, Ridge Holland's back in NXT, and that whole Brawling Brute shit is done with. And they took on uh, Pretty Deadly. Yes, boy. And they did the job. God damn it. It was a great match, but I love Pretty Deadly. They should be getting pushed all the time. But, yeah, we had the Kevin Owens show with Logan Paul. It was phenomenal, man. Like, Logan Paul is so goddamn believable and good on the mic. He was made to be this. Okay, I'm so sorry. Um, Chance and Carter defeated Dawn and, and Fire to retain. They they should not. First off, Isla Dawn is like, I think, or is it Alba Fire? One of those girls, like the ginger one, she is absolutely, I think low-key, it's her and Killer Kelly are like the two hottest in pro wrestling, I think, just attractiveness-wise. But yeah, I don't know, just, you know, establishing the tag division. We had AJ Styles and LA Knight went to a no contest. Bloodline beats the shit out of everybody. We had Orton and Solo Sokoa. Orton's RKO and everybody. A brawl breaks out. Orton's RKO and Rain Reigns comes out. He goes to spear him. RKO, RKO. Great business, man. SmackDown's just banging. It's one of these shows where it was better than Raw. Much better than Raw. You got to watch it all the time. And just the angle of like Logan Paul. They're, they're cooking all these different things. Logan Paul is telling Kevin Owens like, you have a cast on your arm. That's a weapon. And then you have over here, like, Solo's losing matches now, and people are going, what the fuck? Guys, it's part of the story. He was super hot. Now he's starting to catch up with them. What's going on? Roman's going to get mad at him. I'm telling y'all, like, I could see, this, like, Roman losing the belt at Mania because Solo has enough of Roman, spikes him, and then Cody pins him. Boom. You know? I could see some shit like that. But, uh, yeah, they're just doing great stuff because you got Heyman and Aldis out there fucking working and squabbling, and you got just everything's firing on all cylinders, right? Um, This AJ heel shit is kind of whatever. But, yeah, man, SmackDown overall a great great show. Um, 